Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for being here. My Saggies, my Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so this is, guys, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here. Just keep that in mind. Also, this is fa a fairly timeless reading. Whenever you're re guided to watch this reading, even if it's after the month of July 2021, then that's most likely the message for you at that time. So just take it as it resonates, yeah? If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that this month only uh, at limited quality quantities, yes? Yeah? So if you want to get in there, check the information in the description box below. It includes my email and all of, or some of, most of the main options that I offer for readings. Um, also, I highly recommend that you guys check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of good stuff going, over, going on over there. The link to that can be also found in the description box below. And as always, I highly recommend that you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leaving your comments is great because I love hearing from you guys and this is Divine Conversations after all. Let's have a conversation about it, yeah? All right, Sagittarius, I just want to jump right on in here for you. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. Uh, <clears throat> as we've been saying over the last few months, or maybe ever since that last reading that I did for you back in August, well, it wasn't the last reading, but back in August of 2019, things have really been improving for you ever since, okay? And at this point, Sagittarius, I feel like you are really vibing with it like overall energy here for you in your pre-shuffle is the queen of wands underneath the queen of wands is the magician okay and then there's another card under the magician but we'll get to that in a second obviously there's another card under, <laughs> but we'll get to that in a second because immediately sagittarius as soon as i saw this queen of wands energy i could do nothing but smile because it feels like you guys are really just in your own abundant flow like you're really like you're feeling yourselves real hard right now and quite frankly sagittarius i ain't mad at you for it because you really got some beautiful energy going on here very self-confident flowing with the universe flowing with yourself feeling very connected to yourself with all of this queen of wands energy here it's just just like literally it, it really feels like sagittarius you are just sitting back in your throne all sitting pretty just high vibing doing doing the damn thing like all kinds of magical and stuff and you are really just in this master manifester mode right now you're feeling yourself and i feel like you are so much more confident within yourself now than you may have ever been in your life okay let's get into the rest of the cards that you have here you have the king of cups you have the five of wands and you have the ten of pentacles now i am seeing this go potentially one of two ways for you Sagittarius or maybe it's the bo it's both of these first this king of wands energy could represent you no I'm sorry Qu the king of cups the king of cups energy could represent you okay and this is you sitting in a sense of I, I just heard a strong sense of emotional clarity for yourself uh, in terms of your situation or whatever it is you find yourself at the moment and I just feel like you're so calm cool and collected that like nothing can trigger you right now which is great um to me that means that you've been really working on you know whatever your triggers have been for you whatever they've represented for you or ever however they may have shown up for you in your life uh, up until now or recently and for some of you i'm definitely feeling like you being in this calm cool collected like cool as a cucumber t uh, emotionally this state emotionally with the king of cups it's kind of driving some people around you mad because they can't trigger you. They can't get under your skin. They can't come up with, come at you with their old tactics, their old ways of being able to like nudge at you or push your buttons, this, that, and the third. Like they can't do that shit any longer. And then that's bringing a completion to a situation for you, 10 of pentacles. For others of you, I just, in just in picking up this 10 of pentacles energy, this could have something to do with the completion of a business or the setup of a business or the, uh, it could have something to do with business here. I'm not really sure why. I mean, honestly, the Ten of Pentacles does, I mean, Pentacles represents the physical world, money, business, stuff like that. The Ten of Pentacles is also similar to the Tenth House energies. Um, so, and the Tenth House would be your house of career 
and um, sustainability and longevity and your legacy and all that kind of stuff. Um, so for some of you, this actually could be resonating on a, on, a, on a business level in terms of you finally, or at least feeling like you finally gotten, to a, gotten into alignment with what it is you truly want to do as a source of business. This Queen of Wands, King of Cups energy. Okay, this is also, this is definitely a balance between masculine and feminine energy. This is great. Um, yeah, for some of you, it does feel like even though there may have been a lot of confusion or maybe a lot of chaos or a lot of things, different things to handle or to deal with when it comes to your business ventures or your legacy or whatever it is you're trying to create or build or grow in your life, it feels like there has come, there is, it's like some sort of resolution or some sort of agreement that has been made. For some of you, this has to, this has to do with business partners. Um, and maybe it's like in terms of setting up a business, it could be, you know, you've gotten, you've come to an agreement on the, the structure of your business and how you want to move forward with it as you move forward. Uh, okay, so the second way that I could see this working for you, Sagittarius, and again, it could be either or, or it could be both, is this King of Cups represents somebody else. This King of Cups may represent a masculine individual or just a masculine energy. Uh, doesn't really matter. Um, but the King of Cups, to me, in this case, if we're looking at this from a love situation, this King of Cups represents... I know this is not in reverse, Sag, but I'm kind of reading through this energy and in a love situation, it feels like this King of Cups is slightly manipulative, okay? Um, he holds the emotional purse strings is kind of what I want to say. And there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of arguing. There's been a lot of differing of opinion going back and forth. And this is another reason why I feel like this King of Cups may be a manipulative uh, individual or type of person because of this five of wands energy I'm getting the sense that there has been bickering or fighting back and forth between you and someone a significant other in terms of what it is you're truly in alignment with or what it is truly ha what is truly happening for you in terms of this relationship and your stance in terms of this relationship versus what this guy has to say about it and this does feel like it's someone that is Manipulative, uh, emotionally manipulative. But then with that said though, Sag, I feel like you're coming to a completion of that. And this completion feels like you not even caring what the other person has to say any longer. Like it's gotten to the point where it's like, you know what? I'm not trying to argue with you about this anymore. I'm in my alignment. I'm in my vibe. I know what it is that's right for me. I know what I need to do for myself, whatever is right for me to do for myself. And you're not going to affect me any longer. And thus... You have the Queen of Wands at the uh, on, uh, overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Queen of Wands is the Magician. Underneath the Magician is the Devil. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a uh, an Aries. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Because then also underneath the Devil is the Hermit to the Seven of Wands to the Ace of Cups to Temperance. Could there you are, Sagittarius? Um, so. What I feel like is happening here, regardless as to whether how this is resonating for you, the, the, the moral of the story, okay, is that regardless as to whatever this devilish energy has or is for you, how it's showing up for your life in this moment or whatever it means for you, whatever it has been in your life, it doesn't really matter because now you're in this master manifester mode and you can effectively get past this devil's trickery and tomfoolery because of the level of self-awareness that you have been able to achieve at this point and thus greater boundaries are being put in place for you from coming from a place of sense of self-worth and love self-love unconditional love and a greater sense of balance within yourself this temperance energy could also represent the harmonization and balance of and union of masculine and feminine energy within yourself which is also represented by the king and the queen of cups here i'm sorry the queen of wands and the king of cups okay you know what's so crazy Sag? Um, I mean, I was planning on doing more of the, the monthly readings today, uh, just continuing to go through the Zodiac. And e I know, like, you, you and I, Sagittarius, on this channel have had a really special relationship, uh, a really special bond um, throughout the, the history of our channel ever since that last... I keep talking about this last reading, but it's such a pivot. It was such a turning point for you, Sagittarius, in your life. And... 
ever since then, we've been just systematically talking about this story over and over and over. And so we already have this connection going between us right now, right? But when I was getting ready to, to sit down and do these readings today, your energy came screaming out first. Like, Sagittarius, we're starting with Sagittarius. I was like, oh, okay, shit. I mean, we were gonna do Sagittarius today, uh, today anyway. No, I don't care. I know we were gonna do Sagittarius today anyway. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, anyway. But we're starting with Sag today. And this is why. Look, this is why, Sag. Something else just came out here as I was clearing up the deck. It's the Five of Cups in reverse. You're not sad any longer. You have moved on. You're over this energy. You are out of this Eight of Swords, this mental prison. Instead of being in a mental prison, now you have mental clarity, Sag. Fucking right. Fucking right, Sagittarius. About Sagittarius. All right, kids. We're going to get into this. We're going to get into the rest of your reading here. Yes, I want to give this five. Yep, six of swords. Moving on. Okay, great. <laughs> five shuffles for you, Sag. Yeah? One. For my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, definitely make sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, guys. Yes, this is two. For Sagittarius, for the month of July 2021, this is three. And this is four. Well, wait, but we're going to five, Eric. Right, sorry. <laughs> okay, one last shuffle for you, Sag. This is five. There we go. There is the last one. Okay, Eric. Five. Here we go. All right, Sag. We are going to cut the deck. Boop. All right, Saggy. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, clarity. And what, <laughs> what I just heard was clean and clear and under control. You better believe it. Awesome, Sagittarius. This is really... And also, Sag, this is representative of your energy, okay, with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is seen as, like, the archer type of energy. It's um, being able to see your target very clearly and aim for it and hit that. Like, no obstructions. There is nothing in your way. And Sagittarius, you are symbolized as the archer, okay? As a, as a centaur? It's a centaur, right? The half-human, half-horse, but the archer, too, okay? So this is definitely your energy, clean and clear and under control, like completely open, carefree, ready to do the damn thing. And that, I, I feel like Sag, even though the Queen of Wands officially represents Aries energy, it can represent any fire sign. So it does represent you, but I feel like Sag, you are back in your element in some way. Like, I forget the word that I just used now, but, um, uh, ready to move forward, just, just able to move forward it's just you're back in your element all right and that's also what the queen of wands was representing in your overall and in your pre-shuffle underneath the eight of wands oh there you are again the knight of wands okay i see the pages and the knights as the mutable signs in the tarot so for you in case in terms of fire signs you are the mutable sign you are sagittarius okay underneath the knight of wands is the seven of cups and then underneath Damn, Sag. Damn, Sag. Underneath the Seven of Cups is the Eight of Cups to the Seven of Wands. Okay, so check it out, Sag. You are activated. You are fully glowing. You are in your element. You are back in your prime. Or maybe if you don't want to say that you're in your prime, maybe you are of a certain age and you have passed technically what society considers your prime you're back in an energy that is like that but it is so much more mature so much more evolved and so much better than just being like this fresh spring chicken type bullshit right and so you are in a place right now where you're really activated you're really going for it you're feeling yourself you're vibing high you're feeling great and all of this confusion and bullshit from the past man you're not even trying to focus on that anymore bye felicia Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups to the Seven of Freaking Wands and then under the Seven of Wands, oh my God, Sagittarius, the Ten of Motherfucking Cups. You better do it, honey. I am so happy for you. I might cry again. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's get into the rest of this here. First half and second half of your reading, yes. So the first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until this moment, regardless as to where, whenever you are 
actually watching this reading, even if it's not July of 2021. Whenever you're watching this reading, it's most likely going to resonate for you at that time. So we're talking about the moment that you're currently in, from the past until then. The second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Okie dokie. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies, Sagittarius, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Yep, starting a new journey. Page of Pentacles can also represent starting a new business. Okay, so that is absolutely there. For some of you, some, for some of you, if this is a relationship situation, if this is resonating for you on a relationship tip, then this is either you starting a new cycle in love and relationships or starting a new cycle with a current person from a, from a place of speaking up in terms of clarity, truth, and honesty. And for some of you, this is starting a whole new relationship altogether. But either way, you are in, you're on a brand new level, Sagittarius. And if you followed me for long enough, then you know that I recognize the Page of Pentacles as a representation of having gone through that level up and now standing in that new level or that uh, in, in that new energetic vibration and maybe needing to, to you know, to uh, wear your training wheels for a hot second. But that doesn't mean that you're a novice. I mean, maybe in terms of this realm, you're kind of green. But it's not even like that. Like, it's not even a bad thing. You are you are well-shaped, well-molded, okay? And so now you're stepping into this new vibration or this new energy with a, a, a greater sense of self. Beautiful. Page of Pentacles is coupled with, okay, well, we do have the Nine of Swords. That does make sense, okay? I want you to focus on your high vibe. Focus on how high you are vibing right now. Focus on how good you feel. Focus on how much better the world and the universe seems. Not on, holy shit, I'm in a new energy. I'm in a new level. What the fuck am I going to do? Nope, 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 nope. Don't let that happen. Now, I will say that this Nine of Swords energy is quite natural. It is quite natural, Saj. Don't worry about it, okay? Continue to focus on what it is. Well, to be honest, we're looking from the past into the current moment, but at the same time, I don't want you to focus on the Nine of Swords because this Nine of Swords is literally just energies from the past that you haven't fully vibrated out of yet. And it's not like you're doing anything wrong. It's literally just an element of, and there are no hard lines between energetic uh, um, boundaries, okay? It, it, like, it's not like you're in one energy, there's the, here's the line between this energy and the next, and you step into the next and all the past energies are gone, no. Everything is fluid here. Everything flows together. So you're you are you have you have crossed into a new energetic vibration, but there are still some energy, some elements of that that are still working their way out of your out of your vibe. And the higher and higher you go, the further and further that's going to get. And eventually, it will all sufficiently be clear, and you'll be fully anchored in this whole surrounding by a new this new energy. Okay. Um, Yes, the other thing that Spirit just said was, don't take the past with you. Take the knowledge and the wisdom that you've gained, yes, absolutely, but leave the past exactly where it is. I don't really feel like we really need to tell you that much, it's just a slight reminder there, yeah? Especially coming, thinking about what you've come out of at this point, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading, you have the Ace of Pentacles, babe, a new lease on life period, a new lease on life, okay? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, yes, <laughs> the Empress, boo, look at this shit, man, like, okay, so, again, if you've been following me long enough, then you know that I like to, I like to describe the Ace of Pentacles as, like, the physical seed of something new that you plant into the earth, and that is nurtured, and then grows into a beautiful, blossoms into a beautiful flower, the Empress here can also represent Mother Earth or that fertile ground that you plant the energy into that then grows, the seed into that then grows into a beautiful plant. Okay, so uh, you have such a beautiful opportunity here for you, Sagittarius. In terms of what it is that you've dealt with in the past, again, taking the lessons that you've learned, wrapping that all up into a nice little seed, and then moving into this next energetic vibration and planting it into the ground for it to grow into something fucking amazing, okay? Um, the Empress is also representing your energy. Just I, I just heard, in the abundant flow of life, okay? 
and you've come out, I mean, you've really come out of all this shit on top. We can totally call you the Lotus. Totally call you the Lotus. I think that may even be what I end up titling this reading. You are the Lotus, Sagittarius, because you have been able to deal with all of the bullshit, right? And then grow out of that muck, murky, disgusting, <laughs> in some cases, I want to say toxic ass water. You've been able to suck up all those nutrients, transmute it and grow into this beautiful lotus flower. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Sag, ah, is the Two of Swords. Uh, okay, now the Two of Swords is actually not res uh, uh, representing anything bad because your challenge here, Sagittarius, as you're moving out of the past energy is to not focus on the past at all. Do not bring the past with you. Nope, nope. If you're gonna deny, if you're gonna be in denial about anything, I don't say this lightly. I do not say this lightly, but if you're going to be in denial of anything, Sag, right now, at this current moment, the best thing for you to be in denial of is ever allowing any sort of that past energy back into your life. Don't forget about it. Don't forget the le lessons you learned about it, but do not, but hard boundaries. That's a hard pass right there, bro. Right? Okay. Two of swords is coupled with exactly the seven of pentacles. Don't forget what you learned here, but also don't let that weed or those, those plants grow any longer. Remember the lessons that you have gained here. And I think that, okay, the reason why this is actually being, being um, enforced in the message is because <clears throat> we don't want you to like be so happy and be in this queen of wands energy and just love in life and in the flow. And then all of a sudden slip up and forget, or, you know, uh, let your guard down a little bit. And now all of a sudden that energy is creeping back up into you from the, no, 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 Sag, we do not want that to happen. And I know you don't want that to happen, but the, the spirit, the divine is really pushing that message hard for you right now. They keep very keenly aware as to where you have been and where you are now and to where it is you're going. Obviously focus more on the current moment than the past or the future, but don't let the past energies creep back in, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sag, in the first half of your reading, you have the Nine of Wands. Yep, keep going, keep going, Sag. Some of you may still feel a little battered and bruised. You're coming into this new energy, this new environment, this new vibration, kind of like, whoa, Whoa, wait a second, what just happened? Hold on, I need to sit down, I'm a little dizzy, right? Perfectly okay, okay? We understand, we get that. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Three of Cups. This is celebratory, okay? You made it. You made it, Sag. Sorry, I'm trying not to cry again, you made it. I mean, that's really all I can say. Celebration. We did it. Your spirit team, your soul, they're all congratulating you. God, source, creator, the universe, they're uh, like standing ovation for Sagittarius right now, man. God, I love it. Oh, I just love you guys. Ah. And honestly, my personal opinion is that Sagittarius energy is some of the best energies out there, but that is just my personal opinion. If you're cross watching for a Sagittarius, please don't get butt hurt. I'm just saying, we're talking to Sagittarius right now. I'm allowed to have my own opinions, damn it. <laughs> All right, let's get into the second half of your reading. Yes, yeah? so we're looking for the current moment and then off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, is the Four of Cups. Um, to be honest, Sag, this is, feels like a good energy. And what I heard for this three, Four of Cups is reluctance to let the past energies back in. Good. This is exactly where you need to be. Because you do have the Three of Cups as your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading. And it looks like, it, on the Four of Cups here, it looks like this individual is looking down at those three cups thinking, damn, I got it good. No, I don't want that cup. No, I don't want to give that another chance. No, I don't want to give that another try. No, I don't really want to reconcile with you. No, I don't really want to talk it about it or hash it out or anything. There actually could be 
there could be some energies or individuals that are, are, are picking up on your high vibes here and are wanting to get a piece of the action or are now all of a sudden being like, damn, maybe I should reconcile with them. Like, And that, that doesn't necessarily mean that they want to take advantage of what you've got going on. They, they may just see your glow up and be like, and then all of a sudden now the, now the guilt hits, hits them. And they're like, hmm. Let me make an offer. I'm so sorry. And you're like, you know what? That's fine, but you can keep that because I'm good. I really don't. I really like no tea, no shade, no, no hate, no nothing. I'm just good. I don't need it. Four of Cups is coupled with ooh, the High Priestess. You have been... Initiated. You get it now. You see the higher picture. You have the higher awareness. And this is why you're vibing higher now than you ever have before or maybe possibly ever at all in your lifetime. Or, I'm sorry, you're vibing higher now than you have in a long time or just ever than, than ever before, okay? And that is exactly because you have been able to, to get past the veil or, or, or be initiated into what the high priestess or the universal higher awareness type energies were trying to teach you. And now you get it. And that's exactly why you don't need any sort of validation or any sort of offer from something lower in vibration or somewhere or from somewhere or someone from somewhere that you used to be from someone that you used to be involved with or from someone that you used to for 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 someone that you used to be in the past. That doesn't resonate with you any longer because now you're in the higher state of awareness. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the second half of your reading. Temperance, there you are again. Good. Look, Sag, Sag you're balanced. And this just feels, this feels like harmony. This feels like you are in just such a great energy, man, that things are just flowing for you right now. Even if you hit some roadblocks, even if you hit some hiccups and like, whoa, okay, didn't see that coming. Ooh, okay, back to the drawing board here. It doesn't seem to be shaking your, your constitution, your will, your drive, your focus to move forward. Like, you are so... Calm, cool, and collected, man. Cool as a motherfucking cucumber, man. Nothing, nothing can shake you off of this sense of emotional stability, emotional foundation. King of Cups that came out in the overall in the pre-shuffle, yeah. Temperance, which also represents your energy, officially, uh, is is coupled with the Page of Swords. Like I said, Satch, this temperance energy is representing such a state of inner union and balance that you are able to cut to the quick of anything. You are able to get down to the truth of the matter, to, to pick it apart and understand it and pick out what is relevant and what is not and just toss anything that's not relevant. You are so clear. Your mind is so cl like, like, like sharp as a machete. A machete, okay? Sharp, sharp as a katana. No, a katana. That's the that's that's the name of that sword. A katana, like just slices through anything like it's motherfucking butter, bro. That is the state of balance and awareness that you have going on within, and that is beautiful. Your challenge in the second half of your reading is the Eight of Pentacles, okay? But this is a good challenge to have, uh, Sagittarius, and I feel like you are emotionally and energetically ready to tackle this consistent effort to build and move forward and work on what it is, whatever it is you're working towards. Now, also, I want to say that just like you had the seven of cups to the eight of cups in your overall energy, now in your challenges, you have the seven of pentacles down to the eight of pentacles. So you really learned a lot. You've been able to, to assimilate a lot of the lessons that you've, get, that you've been through. And now you're putting that effort in, you're putting whatever, what it is you've learned into it, it into practice or at least that's your challenge now again i don't feel like that's too much of a challenge because i feel like you're energetically ready you're set you're like yeah man let's go eight of wands overall energy knight of wands overall energy let's go let's go i'm tired of waiting man let's go <laughs> and that is pure 100 sagittarian energy to a t eight of pentacles is coupled with Woo! 
there you go. The Queen of Wands again. I told you, this is not, a, I mean, yes, technically it's in your challenge section, but this does not feel challenging. That, it doesn't feel very challenging at all because you're in direct alignment with it. You are, let go. <laughs> okay. Damn, Sag. Yo, yo, don't, don't hurt nobody now. <laughs> don't hurt yourself neither. All right. Closing message of potential outcome for you, Sagittarius. In the second half of your reading, you do have the, damn. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna um, just gonna step back a little bit, cause you're ready to fight. I mean, you're doing the damn thing. You are charging forward, Sagittarius. And the beautiful thing about this, and also the um, the potentially harmful something you kind of want to keep a, a close eye on but also the beautiful thing about this is with the knight of wands in your overall energy and then the knight of swords as your closing message in the second half of your reading so moving off into the future this is combustible knight of wands knight of swords is potential combustion why because oxygen fuels fire okay so it's not that bad of a thing just because of that combustible nature um but the explosive nature of this energy, but it's, but it's also, it all, it just feels really good. It feels really good. And it's not something that you need to worry too much about, but also be careful with that Knight of Swords energy because the Knight of Swords tends to be shoot first, ask questions later. It is like, like the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving Knight, whereas the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest. The Knight of Swords is the fastest. And sometimes that energy comes without really thinking clearly or acting too soon. So just keep it, just stay aware of that. But your fire is being fueled by your drive or your drive is being fueled by your fire. I mean, they, they fuel, I mean, oxygen fuels fire. So like you are your own self-generating force right now. Again, pure Sagittarius energy, okay? Knight of Swords in your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading is coupled with the, whoa, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, the Eight of Swords. You are effectively cutting yourself free. Ain't nothing else to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, but you understand that quite well, don't you? You are the Lotus. Do you understand me? Let's say that again. You No, actually, you know what? I want you to say it with me. Come now. Three, two, one. I am the lotus. One more time. I am the lotus. Mm. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you all so fucking much. I'm trying so hard not to cry. I want to close this reading out since we're talking about all this earthly stuff with you being the Lotus and blah, 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 blah. I want to get you girl closing guidance from the Gaia Oracle. Yeah. Five shuffles, Saggy. One. Oh, come now. Okay, well, first of all, this wants to come out. We're not going to read it. It just wants to show itself to you. Yin, yang. And this card says, creating harmony through balance. Five shuffles. One. My motherfucking Sagittarius gang. I am so fucking proud of you. <laughs> this is fucking too, man. Ah, I can't take it, you guys. You're... <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> this is three. Holy fuck. There you go, Sag. You did it again. <laughs> you did it again, Sag. You're making me cry again. This is, wait. This is three? This is three. Oh my god. I don't know. I fucking lost count. This is four. <laughs> oh, man. And this is five. Closing Oracle Guidance. Here we go. Okay, you have you have two cards here. Okay. Pull yourself together, Eric. All right. First one is card number 44. 44. Look up that number. 
Ocean of Eternal Love. Oh my God. And actually, I don't think this card has ever come out. While I've, for the, in however long I've been using this deck, I don't, I, rarely, maybe once. But I don't ever, I don't remember ever, ever, I don't remember it ever coming out. Ocean of Eternal Love. Healing, creativity, fertility. I can't, I mean, I know you guys are watching this at this, at this point, but like in me sitting here recording this, me, this video for you, I cannot wait for you to see this. I can't, I can't fucking wait, man. The second card is number 28, the message. Positive news, positive outcome. Oh, pull it together, Eric. <laughs> I want to start with 44. I can't wait for you guys to see this. Okay. <laughs> it is said that love conquers all. This is especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable. The timing is right. A new creation awaits you. The birth of something new brings joy and excitement. The, f the forever changing seasons of eternity turn their invisible wheel and a new cycle begins. A new image is born. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? There's still one more card to read. Hold on a second. Okay, now we have card number 28, the message. Message. Okay, here we go. Yeah. The anxious wait is nearly over and a time of celebration is near. You will soon receive good news. This may come from a land far away or it may come from someone close to you. Hi. <laughs> In any case, an issue of major importance has a positive outcome. This may relate to you or someone dear to you. What a relief. You can now rest easy in the knowledge that all is well. Thank the universe for this blessing and give thanks to the earth and stars also. Remember that our lives are, are forever held in their eternal embrace. Whether we know it or not, we are surrounded always by unconditional love. First thing I want to say is fuck you for making me cry again. <laughs> Second thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a channel for you. And third thing I want to say is I love you so much. And that's it. I'm going to go now. I'm going to I'm going to pull myself together because I have other shit to do. I have other reading people to read for, not just you, okay? So like get out of my energy. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I'm so happy for you. I am so proud of you. Congratulations, Sagittarius. I'll see you guys next month or next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>